Hello, welcome to my channel Math with Nazia. In this channel, you will find a lot of tips and tricks across all the topics in math. If you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. So, in this video, we are going to learn IMO class 4. This is International Math Olympiad class 4 Mathematical Reasoning Skill. I have already made a video about all the topics of IMO class 4. You can refer that. The link is given below in the description or you can simply click on the I button given above. So this topic of IMO class 4 mathematical reasoning skill was requested from a subscriber. So I am making this video. So let's see the first question for today. If diamond times 4 that is 4 times diamond equals star. And star minus diamond equals 330, find star plus diamond. So we don't know the value of a star, we don't know the value of a diamond. So we have got two equations with us. That is 4 times diamond is a star and star minus diamond is 330. So we have to find the value of star and diamond first. So let's find the value of a star and the diamond. So we have two equations with us. So let's take the second equation which is star minus a diamond equals 330. So we have this equation. But we know what is a star. A star is nothing but 4 times of diamond. So in place of star I will put it as 4 diamond. So here I have 4 diamond minus a diamond equals 330. Right. So 4 diamond minus 1 diamond we will get it as 3 diamond. So, 3 diamond equals 330. So, the value of 3 diamond is 330. So, what is the value of 1 diamond? 1 diamond equals 110. So, we know the value of diamond now. So, now let's substitute this in the first equation. That is, uh, diamond is 110. So, 4 times 110 equals a star. Right? So, star equals 440. So now we know the value of a diamond, we know the value of a star. So what is to be found? Star plus diamond. So what is star plus diamond? Star's value is 440 plus 110 which is 550. So we have got our answer 550. Star plus diamond. So that is 440 plus 110 which is 550. So our answer is 550. Isn't it easy? Now, let us see the second question for today, which is a number has 42 ones, 917 tens. What is the number? We have our four options here. Option A is 3840. Option B is 1112. Option C is 91742. Option D is 31524. So let's see, let's see which is the right answer. So a number has 42 ones. So 42 ones means 40 time, 42 times 1. So which is 42. And 900. 900 means 9 times 100 which is 900. And 17 tens. 17 tens means 17 times 10 which is 170. So we have to add up all this. Let's see what do we get. We get a 2 here. 4 plus 7 is 11. And then we have a 10 and then 11. We, we got our answer as 1112. So our final answer is 1112. Isn't it very easy? We just need to find out 42 ones. We will multiply by ones. If it is 100, we will multiply by 100. And if it is tens, we will multiply by tens and then add up all these numbers. And we get our final answer. And if you found this video interesting, do not forget to click on the subscribe button and do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos and if you liked the video click on the like button now let's see the third question for today which is look at this given property so let's see what is given two times there are two rectangles that is rectangle plus rectangle 2 times rectangle plus rectangle equals 3 times triangle plus triangle plus triangle plus 6. So this is the property given to us. 2 times rectangle plus rectangle equals 
थ्री टाइम्स ट्राइंगल प्लस ट्राइंगल प्लस ट्राइंगल प्लस सिक्स एंड देन इफ ट्राइंगल इक्वल्स टू इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ट्राइंगल इज गिवन टू अस देन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगल सो फर्स्ट लेट्स टेक द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड राइट पॉस पॉस now let's take the right hand side that is 3 triangle plus triangle plus triangle plus 6 so in place of triangle i'm directly going to substitute it as 2 so 3 times 2 plus 2 plus 2 and then there is a plus 6 outside so let's find the value of the left hand side so what do we get 3 times 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 plus 6 so 3 times 6 is 18 Eighteen plus six, so eighteen plus six is equal to twenty-four. So we have got the value of the right hand side. Now, now let us see the left hand side. What is given in our left hand side? Two times of two rectangles. There are two or one rectangle plus another rectangle equals. What is the right hand side value we have got? We have got it as twenty-four. So now two times two rectangles equals twenty-four. So then one rectangle plus another rectangle. Equals twenty four divided by two. So this two I am taking it this side. So it's become division. So now a rectangle plus another rectangle equals twelve. So the two rectangles together makes twelve. So what is the value of one rectangle? One rectangle equals six. Isn't it easy? So do we have that option? Yes, we have an option here. So our correct answer is six. Isn't it pretty easy? If you found this video interesting and easy for you to understand do not forget to click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos and if you like the video do not forget to click on the like button now let's see the fourth question for today so the question is how many vertices does a pyramid have and we have the option of 4 5 6 and 8 so let's So now let's see how many vertices does this pyramid have. Vertices is nothing but where the two straight lines meet is called as a vertices. So let's see what is how many vertices does the pyramid have. So the points where it meet this is one vertex one, two, three, four, five. So a pyramid has how many vertices? A pyramid has five vertices. Isn't it easy? So always remember. vertices are the points where two or three lines meet that is that is called as a vertices now let's see the fifth question for today there are dash tens in 36520 so we have to see how many tens are there a pretty easy a uh, trick is when we have a number like 36520 So we have a number like this. Then we have, what is the question asked? We have to know how many tens are there. So we will start from the tens place. That is this two is in our tens place and write the all the numbers behind. So what is our answer? How many tens are here in this? We have three thousand six hundred and fifty two tens. We can write like this. Since tens has been asked, we will write it from the tens place. So for this question, the answer is three thousand six hundred and fifty two. For example, if they are asking you how many thousands are there, so thirty-six thousand five hundred twenty. How many thousands are there? Usually, we write it as there are six thousands. No, that is wrong. So you take it from behind. So you can write it as there are thirty-six thousands. So it is a very easy thing. You will start from the uh, place which has been asked. For example, if it is asked like how many hundreds are here, how many hundreds are there in this number? So it is pretty easy. From the hundreds place, you will write everything. So we have three hundred and sixty-five hundreds. Isn't it easy? Whenever this type of question is asked, from the place which has been asked, you will write all the numbers. So you will write the behind numbers, right? So isn't it very easy? This is a small trick which you can apply for your exams. And if you found this video interesting, and if you are able to understand it clearly, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. so that you get a regular updates of all my video and if you like the video do not forget to click on the like button so now let's see the sixth question for today the perimeter of the given figure is blank so we have to find the perimeter of this figure the options given to us are 35 27 38 42
so we have to find the perimeter so what is the perimeter perimeter is nothing but the outer sides we have to add up the sides right so how many of our sides are there it is very easy to find a perimeter we just need to add the sides but all the sides are given what about this side this bottom length is not given how will we find that we, we can add up the remaining sides but what about the bottom side which is not given first we have to find the bottom side now we don't know the bottom length that is the horizontal line so to find that it's pretty easy do not get confused it is very easy you can see this horizontal line there is a horizontal line here till this it is 2 so we have the length till this it is 2 and then as you can see there's another horizontal line of length 3 so which is till this we have our length as 3 now again we have another horizontal line of length 3 so that is till this we have another horizontal line of length 3 and then again another horizontal line of length 3 so as you could see this whole length is here given in this part so we have a 2 3 3 and then again a 3 so what is the total length of this 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 9 plus 3 is 11 so now we have found the total length of this uh, length the bottom length is 11 so now isn't it easy to find now we just need to add up the sides the bottom is 11 so what are all the sides we are going to add we have 11 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 I'm just taking all the numbers and writing it up here and then it is plus 3 again plus 2 plus 3 and then again another 4 plus 2 and then 4 so now when we add up all this 11 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 such a long number so when you add all these number we get our answer as 38 so our final answer is 38 isn't it easy so whenever a perimeter is asked we have to add up the given sides but do not forget to find the bottom length first first we have to find that length and then find out the perimeter isn't it pretty easy Now, let's see the seventh question for today. Mohit went for a swimming class at 2.30 p.m. and returned back home three hours and pause. Now, let's see the seventh question for today. Mohit went for swimming at 2.30 p.m. and returned back home three and a half hours later. The time he came back home is blank. The option given to us is 5.30 p.m., 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. and 5 p.m. So now let's see the keywords given to us. So he went for swimming at 2.30 p.m.